In May 2025, the James Webb Space Telescope captured an image it was never meant to take, a frame that rewrote everything we thought we knew about interstellar visitors. What should have been a single object, 3i slash A-T-L-A-S, appeared not once but three times, identical, synchronized, and impossibly precise. Their glowing cores pulsed in unison every 16 hours, emitting frequencies no natural comet should produce. For decades, we believed such visitors were rare. Now, Webb has revealed there's more than one, and together, they may not be visitors at all, but a message written across the stars. The image that shouldn't exist. It began with a single file, timestamped 213 UTC, May 9, 2025, a diagnostic capture from the James Webb Space Telescope. It wasn't part of any mission log or scheduled observation, yet hidden inside its metadata was the tag object underscore 3i slash A-T-L-A-S underscore ref scan, an identifier that didn't officially exist. Someone had accessed Webb remotely during an autonomous calibration sweep. The image showed something impossible. Not one interstellar object, but three luminous cores arranged in near-perfect symmetry. Each glowed at a distinct infrared frequency. 7.8 micrometers, 9.1 micrometers, and 10.2 micrometers. Far too precise to be coincidence. Analysts initially dismissed it as a sensor ghost. But when independent software reconstructed the raw frame, all three signatures persisted. Within six hours, the Space Telescope Science Institute sealed the data set. A confidential memo cited potential foreign interference. But insiders leaked the truth. The telescope had captured what appeared to be multiple instances of 3i slash A T L A S, separated by only 0.03 AU. The question wasn't just what it was, but how many. By the time the file reached private astronomers in Geneva and Kyoto, its checksum had changed. Three identical images, one impossible signature. The web's first cosmic clone had been found. And when scientists tried to explain the duplication, they found themselves confronting something even stranger. The data didn't just show multiple Atlas objects. It showed they were moving together. The anomaly of multiplicity. In early June 2025, Webb's infrared array was redirected for verification. What it found confirmed the rumor. The primary 3i slash ATLAS was accompanied by two dimmer companions, maintaining a fixed triangular spacing of 1,480 kilometers. Their motion was synchronized, each rotating once every 16 hours. No natural body could match that precision. Spectral overlays revealed identical chemical compositions. CO2 slash H2O ratios of 3.7 to 1 across all three sources. These weren't fragments from a breakup. They were duplicates from origin. Even the albedo curves matched within 0.02%. The pattern resembled formation flying, something seen only in engineered satellites, not cosmic debris. Astronomers compared it to Oumuamua, 2017, and to Ah uh, slash Borisov, 2019. Both were single travelers, but Atlas, it seemed, was a system, a triad functioning like one organism. Webb's high gain sensors detected faint energy exchanges between them, a pulsed current repeating every 46 seconds. Communication, coordination, the evidence was undeniable. When plotted on a 3D grid, the objects formed a shape identical to the geometry of the Kepler-62 orbital resonance. It was the first recorded instance of deliberate spatial symmetry beyond Earth. If three bodies could move as one, the question deepened. Was this the first time it happened, or the third in a long hidden chain of arrivals? Patterns hidden in plain sight. Revisiting past data, astrophysicists traced a chilling rhythm. Oumuamua passed through the solar system in October 2017. 2i Borisov followed in August 2019. Then came 3i Atlas in April 2025, precisely six years and eight months after the first. The timing wasn't random, it was mathematical. Each object entered from a higher inclination angle. Oumuamua, 123 degrees. Borisov, 
138 degrees, Atlas, 152 degrees, converging toward the ecliptic plane. Their approach vectors, when plotted, formed an inward spiral aimed directly toward Earth's orbital corridor. Three visitors, three steps of a geometric progression, each one closer than the last. Webb's reprocessed infrared maps showed the same periodic spacing in the radiation signatures. 13 pulses per rotation, identical across all three missions. These weren't isolated anomalies. They were phases of an ongoing operation, a cosmic pattern unfolding over decades. By comparing motion data, analysts found that the acceleration curve of ATLAS matched Oumuamua's deceleration rate inverted. Together, they created a mirrored energy equation, one arrival anticipating the next. And yet, if the pattern was real, what purpose could it serve? Webb's next discovery would reveal a structure that defied both natural law and human logic, the architecture of the object S. When Webb magnified the central frame to one to 10,000 scale, a hidden geometry appeared. The luminous structure of 3i slash ATLAS wasn't irregular like an asteroid. It was composed of six repeating hexagonal planes, each connected by faint radiant filaments. Measurements revealed perfect 120-degree symmetry, suggesting deliberate engineering. Nothing in the natural universe organizes matter so precisely without internal regulation. Spectral imaging at 9.8 micrometers exposed crystalline surfaces that reflected light in specific phase intervals. In each sub-image, Webb identified angular nodes positioned exactly 2.7 kilometers apart, echoing a modular design, as though each body were a fragment of a single whole. When enhanced, the tail's energy profile revealed pulse thrusts at 16-hour intervals, identical across all three units. Infrared mapping showed a persistent anomaly. The tails pointed toward the sun, not away from it. Solar radiation pressure should repel dust and gas, but Atlas defied that rule. Instead of scattering light, it appeared to control it, bending wavelengths between 380 and 720 nanometers into a coherent arc. It wasn't reflecting sunlight, it was shaping it. Observers at ESO Paranal reported identical pulse signatures, confirming Webb's data. Atlas was no rock, it was architecture in motion. And just as scientists began to model its design, the object's flight path delivered a new shock. Its movement followed equations too deliberate for chance and too complex for survival physics. When motion becomes a message. On June 29, 2025, Webb and ESA's Gaia recorded a synchronized acceleration among all three Atlas entities. The trio altered velocity by 0.009 astronomical units per day, maintaining an exact triangular spacing of 1,480 kilometers. That precision mirrored human orbital arrays like GPS, but on an interstellar scale. It wasn't just movement, it was choreography. Thermal peaks occurred every 46 seconds, matching the earlier signal loops seen in infrared pulses. Analysts mapped those bursts onto a frequency timeline, revealing a recurring 13-beat pattern, too regular to be random. When the spatial coordinates of each emission were connected, they formed a rotating equilateral triangle, a symbol repeating across thousands of frames. Computer models reconstructed their trajectory, a 22-day spiral path that intersected known observation corridors around Mars and Venus before diverging. This wasn't random wandering, the sequence resembled a mapping operation, like satellites charting regions before withdrawal. It was motion as communication, trajectory he as code. By the time the third object crossed 0.84 astronomical units from Earth, the pattern reset, identical to the previous cycle. It was as if something or someone was transmitting through movement itself. Governments noticed too, and their next moves proved that this mystery had outgrown astronomy stepping into the shadowed world of policy, secrecy, and control. The silence around the discovery. In July 2025, the All Domain Anomaly Resolution Office, AARO, issued a restricted advisory marked Level 9 Solar. Within 48 hours, Webb's live data stream was rerouted through encrypted DOD channels. Public access was terminated. 
A second directive ordered all private observatories to suspend data release under National Observation Protocol. For the first time, astronomy had gone classified. Leaked memos revealed the United Nations Office for Outer Space Affairs held an emergency meeting on July 14th, attended by delegates from five major spacefaring nations. The subject line? Coordinated Interstellar Objects, Technological Probability. Attendees left without press statements. Inside sources confirmed a temporary silence pact. No disclosure without unanimous consent. Private facilities in Chile, Canary Islands, and Hawaii reported sudden software lockouts just hours later. Satellite feeds froze. Researchers trying to publish preprints on the ATLAS array received removal notices citing security conflicts. Even Harvard's Galileo project, known for open investigation, went dark for two days. Astronomers understood what that meant. The discovery was no longer just scientific. It had geopolitical weight. Somewhere above, three silent travelers kept circling, and humanity's eyes had been ordered closed. Yet secrecy could only hold for so long. When the next layer of evidence surfaced, a signal buried in light itself, even the silence began to tremble. Evidence of an organized system. In August 2025, a new analysis by the European Southern Observatory, ESO, confirmed faint electromagnetic exchanges between the 33I slash ATLAS bodies. Every 46 seconds, a microburst of radiation passed from one to another, forming a closed loop of data transfer. The signal repeated for 19 hours before ceasing simultaneously. Astronomers called it the triad loop. Spectral energy readings showed identical intensity peaks at 10.23 terahertz, consistent across each object. These weren't chaotic bursts of gas. They were modulated emissions. When the signals were plotted, they displayed rhythmic intervals identical to those used in terrestrial network synchronization protocols, though at cosmic scale. The objects weren't just coexisting, they were communicating. Simulations run by Harvard's Galileo project suggested each unit might serve as a node within a distributed relay, a cosmic array capable of transmitting through reflective radiation. The trio functioned as one organism, maintaining coherence even across thousands of kilometers. The data implied artificial intent, a design purpose beyond survival or orbit. By August 23rd, the objects shifted formation again, rotating into a straight alignment pointed toward the inner solar system. It looked less like drift and more like preparation. But what were they preparing for? The next discovery hinted that their purpose might not be mechanical at all, but biological. The biological code in the data. During Webb's extended scan on September 3, 2025, analysts found something buried in the returning telemetry. Fluctuations in signal strength weren't random. When converted into binary, they formed repeating patterns. The code, 4,096 bits long, mirrored the base pair redundancy seen in RNA sequences. For the first time, light itself carried information that looked alive. Astrobiologists at M1T called it a biogenic algorithm, structured, recursive, and self-correcting. The repeating sequences appeared to evolve with each observation cycle, correcting transmission errors autonomously. No known communication system in nature behaves like that. Each of the three ATLAS objects transmitted slightly different code blocks, parts of a greater whole. When combined, the datasets formed a perfect triplicate redundancy, a three-tier checksum common in self-replicating software. That design hinted at biological purpose, not randomness. The light wasn't just data, it was instruction. Some speculated the code could act as an activation key for organic matter exposed to its wavelength. Within 48 hours, the phenomenon stopped. The objects fell silent. Then, one by one, their signals faded into background radiation, as though their message had been delivered. But before scientists could interpret the code, something else appeared, a fourth signature, larger and slower, rewriting the mystery into a sequence. The Vanishing and the Fourth Arrival At 317 UTC, October 2, 2025, the three Atlas objects vanished from Webb's tracking grid. No residual heat, no Doppler shift, only emptiness where they'd been. 
Just before disappearance, each emitted 13 rapid flashes, synchronized within 0.002 seconds. The final pulse directed toward the outer solar system, marking the end of phase three. Days later, on October 9th, a new anomaly appeared, 4I-ICON. Detected by the Atacama Large Millimeter Array, it followed the same trajectory pattern as Atlas, but on a slower, heavier path. Its spectral profile matched 87% of Atlas's material composition. Whatever the Atlas objects were, Icon seemed to be the next iteration. Icon emitted intermittent radio bursts every 72 minutes, identical in modulation to Atlas's earlier loop. The timing suggested a continuing chain, perhaps a relay between generations. The spiral alignment predicted by earlier models completed itself perfectly when Icon's position was added four points forming a golden ratio curve centered near Earth's orbit. As if the system wasn't random at all, but designed to aim. ICON was the fourth node in a message network, and the next stage had just arrived. But once the spiral was complete, researchers uncovered a deeper pattern, one that pointed straight toward Earth and to a meaning no one was ready to face. The Implication. By November 2025, Astrophysicists overlaid the trajectories of Oumuamua 2017, 2i Borisov 2019, 3i Atlas 2025, and 4i Icon 2025. The results stunned them. The paths formed a perfect logarithmic spiral converging near Earth's orbit by mid 2027. Four objects, 12 years apart, each advancing the pattern. Simulations using quantum AI models showed their intervals matching the rhythm of a countdown, not a signal outward, but inward. The data implied a communication chain designed for one recipient, Earth. Each object wasn't sending a message. It was the message encoded in geometry, timing, and light. Cross-spectrum comparisons revealed fractal resonance between the spiral's harmonic frequencies and the Schumann resonance of Earth's atmosphere at 7.83 Hertz. It was as if the pattern was already tuned to our planet's natural frequency. Some called it coincidence. Others called it contact. By December 1st, 2025, Webb's sensors recorded one last residual pulse from ICON, a faint series of 13 repeating tones, the same number that ended ATLAS's sequence. The message had completed its loop. Humanity was now inside it. And as the spiral closed around our orbit, Scientists realized the greatest discovery wasn't out there. It was the possibility that we were never the observers at all. By the time 4i-IICON appeared in October 2025, even skeptics had fallen silent. Four objects, Aumuamua 2017, 2i-Borisov 2019, 3i-Atlas Bishao 2025, and ICON 2025, all followed the same spiral toward Earth's orbit, each moving closer, each aligned to mathematical perfection. This wasn't coincidence, it was choreography. The Webb telescope had done more than observe space. It had uncovered a network. The last transmission Webb received was brief, 13 pulses, evenly spaced, fading into the black. Analysts found the same rhythm echoing in our planet's magnetic field hours later, as if Earth itself had answered back. Whether these objects are probes, beacons, or something we can't yet name, their pattern is deliberate, they're silent, intelligent. So, what happens when the next one arrives? What if these aren't wanderers passing through, but markers placed for something still en route? Perhaps the truth isn't that we've seen them, but that, finally, they've seen us. And as the Webb telescope stares deeper into the dark, one fact becomes certain. 3i slash A T L A S was never alone. The question now isn't where they came from, it's what they've come for.